We've talked before about trying to use your greenhouse in the winter. The first thing we're going to want to do for trying to keep a greenhouse warm, you know, there's a few steps. The first step is to minimize the heat loss. We want to keep all of that heat that's came into the greenhouse during the day, keep it from escaping, or at least keep as much as possible from escaping at night or when it's cloudy. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to try to make it as airtight as possible. Now that means using weather stripping. Uh, it comes on rolls, usually about you thick, you'd unroll it. Weather strip around the edges of your polycarbonate. If you're using double wall polycarbonates where it's in channels, if it's loose, or if you have any, you know, any open spaces where it's not sealed in there correctly, weather strip the heck out of it. You've already got a little bit of a frame between those poly pieces, so a, just a little bit of insulation that's covering up a quarter of an inch more of the poly isn't going to hurt you for having the sun coming in, but it's going to help a lot for keeping the, you know, the, the warm air from escaping. Tighten up your greenhouse. If it's one that's used screws or, and you know, it's, it, it's had some wind or you didn't quite have it completely square when you put it together, go ahead and spend a little bit of time tightening up any screws, any pieces that are loose. Let's get it as tight as possible. Uh, and if you have to, if, you're, if your poly is loose in the channels, use silicone if you need, or get some of that, the, the kind of the bead weather stripping where you can just kind of putty that, slip that stuff up in the, the corners. Do the entire greenhouse. It's something you can do once, and pretty much for the life of your greenhouse, it's done, and you're going to reap the benefits for you know the whole time you have the greenhouse. Now, the other thing we want to do when it comes to minimizing heat loss is we want to try to insulate the greenhouse. Now we've made it weather tight where the air just can't run out through any holes or the wind can't blow in like an air conditioner and quickly cool down your greenhouse, but those polycarbonate panels that you have, uh, and say, let's say we've orient, oriented our greenhouse east to west, which is ideal. Um, you know, here in America, uh, that, well, that works best for everybody so that that long, you know, the solar, uh, when the sun tracks across, it's shining in from the south of course, it's coming in much higher during the summer, but during the winter it's coming in low, but it's never coming in through the north side of the greenhouse. So we want to make sure that we, we insulate that north side really well, and it makes a big difference. You know, there's been a lot of uh, test ran where they put different coverings on in addition to your polycarbonate. If you put poly sheeting on, like you would put on a window. Say you've got a basement in your home and you go buy those, those little poly sheets and you stick it up on there and use a hair dryer to, to make it tighten up. That, or even taking another uh, a thing of polycarbonate and popping it on, will get you about 35% less heat escaping through there. Now, that 35% is great. Well, you know, a little bit more than a third now of your heat can escape back through there. But, what if we could keep 90% of the heat from escaping through that wall. Well, we can easily if we use insulation, foam insulation. The two inch kind with the reflective sheeting, and we've talked about that in other videos, is, um, is perfect for you. It's going to work a couple different ways. One, it's going to keep 90% of the heat from escaping, and that reflective surface is going to let the light shine all around. So if you're using you know, barrels uh, filled with water in your greenhouse, and they're the black barrels and they're all black all the way around, they're not only getting warmed when the sun is coming in on the, you know, coming in from the south side, but now as it reflects, you get a little bit of heat coming off the back side too. Plus it gets a lot more light all around around your greenhouse. Now be careful if you have, you know, little plastic plant trays or you know, plants that aren't going to handle heat real well, don't put them right up against that reflective surface or you will roast them because during the day, um, you know, here we are up above the 45th parallel and I'm at about 3,500 feet of altitude and the sun can be brutal and boy the, the folks up you know, say Colorado way or anywhere up in the mountains where you have much higher altitude the sun really can heat a greenhouse during the day so be careful with what you place right next to that reflective surface but definitely use it. Another thing we can do is besides using the polished sheeting and, and like I say just You'd use that just like you in your house. If you've got a greenhouse where you've got the, uh, the your steel frame here and there's a little bit of overlap, you could use that just like you do in the, the windows of your home by spreading that poly across and then using the blow dryer and creating an airspace. And you just doubled or tripled 
you know, the effectiveness of your polycarbonate by doing that. You can also use bubble wrap. Bubble wrap works great. That's something we've always talked about. A lot of folks just put it on the north walls. Some people recommend doing the entire greenhouse. You lose a little bit of light, so if you're trying to grow something that needs, you know, it's a flowering plant that needs a lot of light, you may not be able to keep the bubble wrap up on, you know, on your southern exposure year round. But if you can get away with it, do so because not only will it insulate your greenhouse, it will then during the summer cut down on some of the, the light coming in and help keep it cooler. The same thing happens with, you know, your your barrels of water. You put those barrels in, and what we're hoping is going to happen if we have enough barrels, and it takes quite a bit to really work for you, is that those are going to heat up during the day and then release the heat at night. Well, during the summer, those same barrels work to help keep your greenhouse cool. During the hottest parts of the day, those barrels, and, and let's say, for example, it's gotten to 50 degrees at night and it's going to be 85 during the day. Those barrels have cooled down at night, but during the day when your greenhouse wants to get up over 100, and it's 85 outside, but the greenhouse is 110, if you don't have your vents and your fans running, well, those barrels are now cooler and they're going to be absorbing some of that heat. And basically, they're going to help moderate the ups and downs that you get in temperature. So they're good year round. So, you know, airtight as much as possible, using the bubble wrap to insulate. On the north wall, adding the foam insulation, you know, it comes in half, one or two inches. Use the two inch, use the kind with the reflective coating. If it's got that the horrible blue stamp of whoever made it, I wish they'd quit doing that, paint it. You know, paint it, paint it white. It looks really good. White looks good through polycarbonate. It'll look great from any distance. You can leave it up year round, do the entire north wall, go maybe halfway up the north wall, and maybe even uh, go halfway ac uh, across your west and your east walls too. So you know, the more the more of the greenhouse, the more of that surface area that we can insulate, the less passive collection we're going to have to do to keep our temperatures moderated. Now, up against the outside, don't forget hay bales, straw bales, bags of leaves, anything you can do to help keep moisture in. And when you're building the greenhouse, add that two inch styrofoam down a couple of feet. I know it's a pain to dig a trench, and if you've already got the greenhouse, it's an even bigger pain. But if you will trench that in and put that, that insulation down in there, you'll help hold in some heat. What happens is you're doing all this work uh, to heat your greenhouse. You've got either a, a concrete floor or maybe you've got a gravel floor that's absorbing heat. But as that heat gets down in the earth, it tends to escape out the sides through the earth underneath, underneath your greenhouse. So if you've got it insulated all the way down you know, below the earth, that heat's going to kind of stay in that area. Uh, you know, if you go down you know, four or five feet, you're going to have 55 degree earth temperatures and you don't have to worry about it escaping there during the winter. So, first step is bubble wrap, then the styrofoam, then we want to go with any kind of the uh, uh, weather stripping, plastic. People use solar blankets on the outside like you get for a pool. They wrap it with an extra layer of plastic and then fill that with air just a small blower. All of these things will work for you and while we're trying to accomplish with this, we're not trying to heat the greenhouse with this, we're trying to minimize the heat loss, the, the heat that's already built up in the greenhouse.